Welcome to the Spread Hunter Daily Safari for February 13th. I think we'll call this one the wild thing. Uh, uh, let's revisit the last week or so. As you may know, we just had six of the wildest days in stock market history. If you can believe this, the Dow had a composite range of over 20,000 points. If it was all one way down, the Dow would have been down 70% in a week, which is three and a half times as, as worse than the October 1987 crash. And here's what I want you to know. I traded through the 87 crash in the OEX pit, which was a precursor to the uh, SPYs. And during the crash, it was the most exhilarating and terrifying time of my then young life. One of the big lessons was how many chances you are given to make a great trade. But more importantly, how many chances are you, are you given to get out of a bad trade? This is incredibly useful information, and I hope you can hear it and take it in. Uh, I know I did, and I've been using it ever since. Uh, one of the trades that I made last week, it was late in the week, so the market had already calmed down a little bit. But I bought this uh, vertical spread you see here in Microsoft for under ten cents, I, I as I recall, uh, which would have mean that the um, it would have been where this spread is here. So that means that the uh, Microsoft would have been at least a dollar and a half lower, and I think it was much lower than that because we've had some erosion of premium over the since Friday and. Um, as you can see, I liquidated the position today. You can see the sell signals, the sell uh, reports right here. And uh, I liquidated it very close to this price here. You can see 31 cents. So for an absolute minimum of risk and a very, very, very small dollar investment, I was able to get a 200% return in two days. Um, some of, some of the other remnants of that of last week are uh, UVXY trades, and as you probably have heard, the uh, these indexes, the volatility indexes, also had wild rides. But one thing I do know that I've experienced for the past two years is when they start to come down, they come down really hard. And in fact, the UVXY traded 35 and 15 in the same day. I think it was Thursday morning. Um, now it has since rallied, and um, let's take a look and see where it is today. Yeah, so it's trading a little over 20. Um, so it is giving up some ground, but this spread that you see here that I got into, um, I actually traded over it and ended up with a little bit different position, but the original spread was this 14, 12 and a half spread. And even though you see here that it closed at two cents last night, um, I sold this spread yesterday morning at over 25 cents. So what you're looking at is, you know, people giving up the ghost on the time premium, um, which will happen eventually to everything that doesn't go in the money. Um, but, you know, again, it was a spread that was uh, acquired for, you know, around a dime it's a dollar and a half spread risk reward of 15 to 1 and um, you know these are the kind of trades you want to put on now as you can see I didn't get out of all of it um, so I'm stuck holding these last few contracts but you know it's gonna be a net gain and it was an enormous opportunity when it presented itself and you know you have to take the heat but these are the kinds of trades that you want to uh, have the opportunity to get into and uh, we did, and so you can see the results here. So that's where I'm going to leave it for tonight, and we'll take this up again Thursday. The markets were kind of quiet today, so I don't have that much commentary about uh, today's action. All right, see you in a couple days.